Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jonathan, and welcome back to Money Talks, where we want to offer you financial information and meet you where you are financially so that you're able to stick to your budget, manage to pay off your debt, and begin to save on your path to building wealth. Today, guys, I want you to think about what are you doing in your wealth building journey? See, when you think about this concept of time, you have to understand we're all negotiating on how much time we have. We're all negotiating on hey, what do we do with our time? And the fact is, no one knows how long you're going to be on this earth or what opportunities you're going to have. Now, I'm not saying this to shift your mindset to only forcefully and viscerally think about how can you build wealth 24 hours out of day. But it is understanding that when you think about your concept of time, time and compound interest is what pays dividends in form of investing. Time, as far as real estate. Over time, your value of your real estate grows. Over time, the rent that you're charging someone grows. So time is the biggest factor in your ability to create wealth for yourself. But I want you to think about another piece of time and another aspect. And that's what this video is really about. Think about it this way. And everyone typically works a average 30, 35 year time frame over their lifespan. But some people over that span of time, they become CEOs. Some people maybe just get to middle management. Some people maybe just never really move outside their drill. But they all had the same different time. What changed? Could have been information. Could have been that individual. Could it be that they had one person had more opportunity than the other? We don't know. But what we do know is if you're focused and if you say, hey, I'm going to take control of this scenario. I'm going to do a little bit more to be focused in my financial plan, in my professional plan, in my marriage plan, in whatever plan I have in my life. I can make true progress. From a financial standpoint, the same time it took one person to make to pay off one house, another person may be paid off three or four houses. In the same time, it took a person to get to that $1 million net worth in their index fund, in their dividend fund, or whatever, another person did $10 million. Some, guy, some people even did $100 million. But they didn't have different time. Some maybe had less time and did it. Some might have had some support or some may have started. It's what they did with the time. I want you to really think about where are you in front of your financial goals? What can you do to push yourself forward? If you think about it from that aspect, you will always be on the cusp of every year. This will be the most money you've ever made in this year. We still have two months left on this year. And I like to say the last two months of the year, this is the time where you really just start to set the preparation for 2021 or for that next season. So next year can be the greatest year of your life. This year is the greatest year. Every year can be the greatest year of your life. The difference is every year is gonna throw different challenges at you. And unfortunately, we just don't know what those challenges are. I want you to think about what can you do in your career with your time? What decisions will you make? Are you going to do like a colleague just said, if you haven't joined the Money Talks group, we had a great discussion last night. But are you going to say, hey, what can I do when I go in my job? What can I do to get promoted? How can I fast track my career? What projects can I take on? And then for yourself, are you going to take notes throughout the year so that when you have any conversation about money, you are equipped to have an educated, substantive conversation that what? yields you the result of a higher raise, brings you more money in your household, all because you were prepared. You do that so that the more income you have, the more bandwidth you have to invest more, live your life a little bit better, upgrade in car, help someone else. You can do a lot more, but it all the thing that turns the knob on this budget thing is your income and you turn the knob on your income. So I want you to turn the knob up. I want you to really focus on, okay, you may not be at six figures right now, Maybe that's not in your cars considering where your career field is. If that's your desire to do, then take your skill set and apply it to some place that unfortunately the marketplace tells you what is important from a pay standpoint. 
You may be having, you may have the right skill set, but in the wrong area. I would encourage you guys really think about what you can do with your time. It's not, I want you to take all this time away from your family. I want to give you more time with your family. I want to give you more opportunity to wake up every day, run your passion, but most importantly, have the option to do your day and your life how you choose. I hope you really enjoyed this video, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you like us, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, we have the Money Talks group on Facebook. Subscribe to this channel. and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.